you're a beginner and you don't like playing bar chords and you want to learn a very easy way to play every single major and minor chord possible, I'm gonna show you that right now. Basically, all I have is a major shape and a minor shape. That's all it is because this is the root of my chord and this is the third or the flat third. So the root is being played on the low E string and that gives the chord its name. So for instance, the eighth fret of the low E string is a C, so this is a C. And if I play the ninth fret of the G string, the G string is the third string from the floor, one, two, three. If I play the ninth fret, so one fret higher on the G string, I have a major sound, happy. If I play the same fret, so the eighth fret of the G string, I get a minor sound. It's as simple as that. If you learn the names of the notes on the low E string, then you can play every possible major and minor chord. And then you have this little kind of cool thing you can do that's kind of cooler than strumming, especially if you're a producer, you like making beats. Strumming can be boring. Bar chords can sound kind of thick. They can be out of tune and stuff. And you can do some vibrato. You can do like, you know. You can do like, you know, more rhythmic stuff. So let's take another example. Let's say we have a G major. G is the third fret of the low E string. If I play G with my pointer finger, and then I play a half step higher on the G string, I get a major sound. So the song I was playing went C, G, D, E minor. I'm gonna show you another system of doing this so that you don't have to jump up and down like that. If you noticed, I'm really jumping around, so it'd be cooler if I did the song like this. C, G, D, so I incorporated another shape, the second family. With this family, you're now gonna be finding the root on the A string, so all along the A string, and then you're gonna be finding your major or minor third on the B string. Now this comes out of this chord shape that's like an A major, I'm moving an A major around. The first family was an E major that I moved around. So in the first example, I'm playing again C major. C is the third fret of the A string. And if I wanna get a major sound, I play two frets up on the B string. And then to get a minor sound, I play a half step up, one fret up on the B string. So don't confuse these two sounds. Let's compare this C major with the first C major. So our first C major was here, right? C on the low E string, and then the major third, a half fret higher on the G string. With the second family that we're using, we find our C on the A string, and then we play two frets higher on the B string. See that? And then this, the new minor shape is a half step down, right? It's a, it's a half step, right? In both cases, you just bring that major third down. So that same song, C, G, D, E minor, will go like this, C, and then G, D, and then E minor. You can do that vibrato thing. And this this little finger picker thing I'm doing, I'll, I'll bring my, my, I'm gonna demonstrate it uh, with the second family. So it goes thumb, pointer, thumb, pointer, thumb. It's thumb, pointer, thumb, pointer, thumb, pointer, da, boo, ja, boo, ja, boo, ja, boo, ja. Another one is just a slap. That one's really easy. So that same song is. And I got a lot of reverb on. And you can do fills. So those are two ways to. If you enjoyed that and you want to learn more easy beginner guitar tips, check out this video or this video here.